Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, Author, and currently working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. Today we are going to learn a new concept called Conditional Expressions in Bicep. I have created a new folder for this video and name it as Azure Bicep Conditional Expressions. And we are going to do some best practices here by removing environment specific files later in the upcoming clips we will discuss how to provide environment specific values while executing the bicep scripts we'll also remove the environment name from here this looks good now but I will maintain dev specific names for now in this parameters.json file. Now, because we don't have environment specific parameter files, obviously we need a mechanism to understand the current environment in which we are running. Along with that, we also need to ensure that if there is something which is changing across environment, we should make it dynamic. For example, here in the main.bicep file, we have hard coded SKU, SKU name as F1 and SKU capacity as 35. So, what I want to achieve is if we are deploying the bicep files in dev environment, I would like to use F1 as the SKU name. However, if it is for production, I would like to use S1 as the SKU name. Similarly, I want to dynamically change the capacity as well, depending on the environment. So today we are going to achieve this using conditional expressions. For that, let's first introduce a new parameter. I would say env is string. Now here, Instead of directly hard coding the value to F1, so I would like to dynamically retrieve the value for SKU name. So within this brace, I will write a condition. If evaluates to true, then here you will write true value. If it evaluates to false, then here you will write false value. Okay, so let's first write the condition. If the environment is equal to dev, then we would like to use F1. Else, we would like to use S1. Similarly, if the environment is dev, we would like to use One as the capacity, else two as the capacity. Again, these are not my recommendations for production. These are just for demonstration of conditional expressions for string data type as well as integer data type. Let's now run this. Before we run, we need to ensure that the environment parameter is getting a value from our parameters.json file. To make it simple, I will directly hard code the value to dev first. Now let's try to execute this. Before executing, let me double check the value, the current value in the Azure management portal for this app service plan. As you can see here, the app service plan pricing tier is set to F1. Okay, let's go back to Visual Studio Code and execute our script. I'll come back once the execution is complete. All right, the execution is successfully completed. Let's head over to Azure Management Portal. Refresh the page.
and as you can see here it has got updated to s1 with capacity 2 that's how we can write conditional expressions in our bicep code that's it for today thanks for watching feel free to write your feedback in the comment section i'll see you in the next clip thank you bye bye